Hello and welcome to your collective reading. So let's go ahead and see what messages there are for the collective conscious today. Okay, we have Page of Cups, a dream, a wish, a fantasy, somebody that we've got feelings for, someone that we're still getting to know. The Fool, a brand new beginning. Some of you may be dreaming of a new beginning elsewhere or with someone new or a new business. Something new in your life. Taking a chance on something. Eight of Wands, I'm putting a lot of energy into this. Very excited about some kind of new endeavor that you've been thinking about or with a prospective love. Four of Wands, building, growing, developing and expanding in this energy. Wow. So if this is a love, this is about a love that is developing with someone very special that you're thinking about a lot. Alternatively, if this is to do with business or another situation in life, it's saying that you're dreaming about expanding, growing, developing, building upon that. Now we have Ten of Cups, happiness, union, togetherness, sometimes marriage, Wow, a new happiness, something new. Some of you could be moving in with someone very special um, or starting a new phase in life with someone that you love. Three of Pentacles, this is a meeting, this is messages, a lot of messages, a lot of energy flowing back and forth between you and somebody else um, in regards to a meeting possibly to do with work or finance. Two of Pentacles is, again, it's about the imbalance, but also trying to balance yourself out with something. So in order for you to build, grow and expand, there is a need to balance out either your time or your finances or how you're actually proceeding with whatever it is that you want to build. Two of Swords, two twos, which is very interesting. Two of Swords is a big decision that you need to make. H however, with the Two of Swords, there's two swords. One is truth and clarity. It is the new path. And the second one is actually what you're going to cut out. So it's really kind of like an ultimatum card where you're going to be cutting something out in order to proceed in a new journey direction nine of pentacles is business it's about independent entrepreneurship working independently in regards to something that you're very passionate and good at so three of pentacles is really a meeting to do with business or even you know kind of like to do with um you know self-employment entrepreneurship now, Eight of Wands, putting a lot of your energy and focus into that. It's a fresh start, a new beginning, something that you've been dreaming about, expanding, growing and developing in this realm. Ten of Cups is about happiness, about vibrance, about really wanting to build upon this. Ten of Cups could also be family. This could be a family business. However, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's got a strong independent connotation. So with the Ten of Cups, it could be just you wanting to provide for and be there for your family in regards to your the finances and financial endeavors that you're trying to build. Two of Pentacles, yeah, trying to, um, you know, weigh up your options, really balance out your time or your finances here, making a couple of really strong decisions. I feel for some of you that you're building a relationship, but you're also building your business. So it's really kind of like you're trying to be careers minded and put all your uh, commitment into that. But you've also got your love situation going on as well. So let's go ahead and get this um, bunch of cards. This is actually the Romance Angels mixed in with Radley Valentine's Angels um, Oracle as well. So let's have a look at what messages there are in regards to this for the collective. Wow, they just kind of fell out. I'll show you. We've got Trust. 
trusting in the process, believing that it will all work out, remaining positive and forgiveness. Ooh, okay, there is an element of forgiveness and remorse, either from you or somebody around you. Okay, so it's it's basically perhaps you just need to do what you need to do in order to be the Nine of Pentacles to be successful and to expand your business or your career options even um, and perhaps other people just need to have an open mind and to understand that this is really important for you right now let's have a look at what Amira's love oracle has for you as well what does Amira's love oracle want to tell the collective Okay, we have dating. You may be dating someone new or you're spending some time one-on-one -on -one with someone very special and just enjoying each other's company. Oh, a long-distance love courting man. So there could be a masculine around you or this could be you if you're the masculine uh, in love with someone far away, long-distance. So really wanting to date this person or you have been, you spent a short while together and then there is the fact that you know one of you or both of you need to separate and move your own ways again so let's have a little look what the long distance situation is here tell me about the long distance having a lot of faith trust and belief that you will be together eventually what about dating we have young woman, she's very excited, quite vulnerable and maybe even a little bit impressionable in regards to this <clears throat> very overly trusting in this situation. Now what about courting man, where is his intentions? Where is the courting man's intentions? He's waiting uh, for a home, for a house. Um, to stabilize or he's waiting to come to stabilize with you so it looks like the masculine has the the right intentions and he really does want to be with the feminine so if you're the feminine asking does he really want to be with me the answer is yes and if you're the masculine it's really just saying that she has a lot of trust and faith in you that you will be with her eventually all right i hope you enjoyed this collective reading for all signs and if you liked it please click like help my channel to grow by subscribing i'd appreciate that so very much and as always i send you love peace and light bye for now